What's going on? This is Magic Mitch the Food Adventurer and in this video I'm taking on a giant cheeseburger challenge where the fries and the onion rings they're not the sides on this thing. They're part of the main meal and are loaded inside the cheeseburger itself. But more about that in a second. So this is day 20, challenge number 14 of this tour across the UK and Europe. And for this battle at hand I'm at Uncle Sam's restaurant in Liverpool, England taking on Uncle Sam's five pound burger challenge. So obviously you have a five pound burger which has a beef patty that weighs over two pounds. Then you also got some cheese in there, a little bit of ketchup, and you also got some bacon, which in this case, it does seem to be closer to the Canadian variety. And of course, you got the onion rings and the fries, both of which are already inside the cheeseburger. Now you have one hour to take down this giant cheeseburger challenge and if you're able to do so, you are rewarded with the meal for free which is 18 British pounds, but you also get a free shirt and your picture up on their wall of fame. And really at first, I wasn't sure how I was going to attack this giant cheeseburger challenge. Typically I like to eat the burger patty first, then move on to the fries and the onion rings and any other sides, then finish with the bun. But since this burger challenge was a bit wider and more on the flat side and the fries and the onion rings were already stuffed inside. I did consider cutting this up into slices and attacking it that way, but once the battle started, I just decided to stick with my tried and true strategy of breaking this cheeseburger down into its components as I typically do. And really, I actually wasn't too sure about how I would be able to eat everything whole, especially if those fries were on the crispier side. You know, maybe if I added like a boatload of ketchup, that way everything would just soak into the fries in the bun, but to me, honestly, that's getting a bit much in my opinion. And as you can see, I lifted that top bun over and used it as an extra plate, putting the fries that weren't covered in the ketchup off to the side so I could get at that cheeseburger patty faster and start working my magic. Now before I get into my thoughts on this food challenge, it's time for question of the day. And it's one I get asked about a lot. And it is the use of diet soda or diet coke, we'll just use those interchangeably here. Now I'm sure you've seen me use it a ton and you think it's counterintuitive and you might have been wondering, hey, what's up with that? Why do you use Diet Coke during your food challenges? And there's actually a few reasons why I use Diet Coke. First of all, it's a refreshing palate cleanser and it helps fight off flavor fatigue. And let me just say this, when you've been tasting a ton of savory and salty flavors for a prolonged period of time, whether it's from, like say in this case, a burger patty, bacon, cheese, or fries, it kind of starts to wear down on you. But once you get that first sip of that ice cold Diet Coke, as that crisp, sweet cola touches your taste buds, -wee! you feel re-energized, you feel rejuvenated. And I can't tell you how many times it saved me during my harder fought food challenges. Now number two is the acidity, which helps break down some of the carbs, though I will admit, I don't think it helps that much during the challenge, but it still helps. And another reason why I use Diet Coke, and this is probably the most controversial, is the carbonation. And this is where people tend to get tripped up because you would think the carbonation would fill you up, but it actually does the opposite as it actually helps with burping up extra air pockets in your stomach. But the key here is you have to be able to make yourself burp. I know that's not the case for everyone, but it works for me. And lastly, I'll just point this out here. When it comes to using regular versus diet, I prefer to use diet and most people think, oh yeah, because it's the calories, the less sugar, yada, yada, yada. But that's actually not the biggest reason. The biggest reason why I use Diet Coke over regular soda is because diet is less satiating. Now I've done a ton of food challenges with both regular soda and diet soda. And I have found in my experience with regular soda, after about two cans, I'm done. I don't know if it's the sugar or whatever, but I'm just over it. With diet, I can finish a food challenge indefinitely with it. And there have been some times where I've had to use a ton of Diet Coke including some of the food challenges later up on this tour. If you have any more questions or comments about the use of soda during food challenges, be sure to leave them down below. Now as far as my thoughts go on this food challenge, in terms of the setup, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. I don't think there's a lot to talk about here, but obviously it does have the gold standard which I always love to see, which is the free meal, the free shirt, and your picture up on their wall of fame for completing the challenge. And I mean, even though it doesn't add or change how I take on this burger challenge, I do like the fact that they put the onion rings and the fries inside the burger just because it's a little different I suppose and it's something I can appreciate. Something else I can appreciate is how great this challenge tasted which is why I'm giving it a thumbs up on taste. Now with everything on the inside, the onion rings lost a lot of that crunch factor which is what I love so much about them. Let me assure you, 
This all tasted great, including the onion rings. The beef patty, juicy and flavorful, made it easier and more enjoyable to eat, especially if you got a little cheese and ketchup action on there to go along with it. The bacon, it wasn't too shabby, and fries are fries. And the bread, actually the bread wasn't too shabby either. It had this nice little, uh, how you'd say, like a fluff factor to it. And having it with the diet soda was super effective, as it just sort of dissolved the bread a little bit as it soaked into it, making it easy to keep a decent pace while taking this thing down. And with that being said, if you're enjoying your time watching this video half as much as I did making it, then I would greatly appreciate it if you took a few seconds out of your day to leave a little magic of your own by liking the video and leaving a comment or a question for question of the day down below, and I'll see you in the next food adventure. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I don't fall off. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Grab the hat. <laughs> That's great. Grab the hat. Okay, one, two. It's harder for her,